Hello guys and welcome back to Jackmate's Happy Hour and Lazies on the pod. I said Lazies on the pod. Lazies on the pod. I said Lazies on the pod. How you doing, Laz? Oh, I'm doing fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> you had a song and now you ain't got Stevie, one. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's actually yeah. sad. The song, the popcorn. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> oh, you're losing your brand, no. baby. Uh, it's almost like a nothing. <laughs> well, almost. you've never had a song, Jordan. Didn't need one. Oh, oh fair. I used to have my own, oh, yeah. I used to have my own jingle. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. How's, How's that, that go? I oh, know it was actually the a crash thing, wasn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. What? So, yeah. Go on. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome to another episode yeah, of... Yeah, welcome to another episode of... Oh, and then I get smashed out of the way by the words Doody Rhino. And then oh. Ozzy pops up and goes, that's great. That's great. It's a little animated clip that used to be an intro. But not a jingle. Not a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> I might make you a song. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Whoa, Doody Doody. For the love of God, don't make that a thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> fucking people come out to you. Whoa, Doody Doody. <laughs> You, you come round the, to it, it's fine. You took the rhino out, left the doody in. <laughs> Whoa, doody doody. <laughs> oh, you, everyone, please fill his DMs with Whoa, doody doody. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Shall we um, move on to some score stories? Yeah. Scary, scary stories? Scary yeah. stories. Go on, back to the murder. Urbans the murder stuff. of infants. Yeah, this, I haven't got a baby in this one, but this is oh, the one about oh. the um, young teenage girl... Oh, yeah. That you said you wanted to hear. I can't tell you the name of this one, the name of the actual story, because it does give away the ending. Right, but hang on. F quickly, first, for anyone who hasn't heard the first episode of this and has been living under a rock, what is an <laughs> urban legend? So an urban legend is essentially a story, tends to be quite grisly, yeah. um, a story that has been passed down over time that they tend to... Uh, get m mixed up a bit and yeah, change Chinese, over the time. Chinese yeah, whispers. it's essentially Chinese whispers of horror stories, right. but they do tend to have a bit of an origin behind them and a bit of a, oh, this happened, so now yeah. let's make right. it a lot worse so that we can scare people. It's essentially campfire stories. Oh, fair. Back in the day, people used to always tell them around the campfire to scare each other. Because when I first heard Urban Legend, I thought Tim Westwood. Carry on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like that he asked me to explain it purely <laughs> to set him up for that joke. Is that, is that, uh, I mean, he was talking, I weren't listening, I was waiting for my time to talk. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Steve, I'm getting this fucking punchline. Yeah. I reckon no one even knows who Tim Westwood is anymore. Penny Moride. Penny Moride. UK. <laughs> yeah. yeah right, UK exhibit yeah. did the actual Pit yeah. Ride. Yeah. Yeah. The, Pit My Ride was like early 2000s. Yeah. Tim Westwood. People are age. Apparently they, used, they used to strip some of the more expensive shit back out of the car before they actually gave it to him. <laughs> yeah. Some of them were undrivable. They'd put stuff in it and it yeah. couldn't be driven. So they'd go, oh, by the way, great that you enjoyed that, but you can't have it. Yeah, you know, like when, you know, like when they're like, "Oh, we we put six Xboxes in your boot or your yeah. trunk," and then, yeah, they'll take them out. <laughs> like, yeah, well, we've got to put that in the next fucking car. What are you doing? <laughs> Just take, taking them out and putting a Wii in. There you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got a billiards table in your truck. We can't have the balls. <laughs> uh, you can keep the fucking. Only on happy hour can you go from talking about murderers and killers mm. to Tim Westwood and Pimp My Ride. <laughs> well, yeah. there you go, and that. That's why you love this show. <laughs> Should we do it? If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, do give us a review. Five stars would be lovely. Equally, you can do four. That's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> lower. I'd Honestly, five. I'll, I'll, no I'll, threes though, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. So, was, yeah. with, mm -hmm. with the first story of today's episode, mm. I think you might all know it. Right. Oh, It's very well known. Right. So, there was a beautiful teenage girl who lived with her parents in a small town. Mm. One evening, her parents went out for a meal and a few drinks with friends. Weather spoons? <laughs> yeah. They left her daughter home alone, protected by their dog, and told the girl to lock all the doors and the windows. What kind of dog was it? Uh, yeah, what we border talking? Collie. Protected. Oh, Would that protect you? That, that just herd sheep. It, 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 it didn't say it. It was just the first dog that came into my mind. It was, oh, oh. It was an Alsatian. Pitbull. It was an Alsatian. Right. They're pretty right. scary. She had her dinner and watched some TV and went to sleep around midnight, snuggled up with her dog. Whitney, she was... Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyone who didn't get the joke, she's the one that sleeps with dogs. Yeah, I got it. She... <laughs> oh, everyone watches my videos. <laughs> she was woken up at around 2am by a dripping sound coming from the bathroom. 
she assumed she just hadn't tightened the tap properly, so ignored it and tried to go back to sleep. Nah, you tighten it. <laughs> you do. You hear a drip. Yeah. That's getting tightened. Sorry, carry on. But the girl did feel a little bit uneasy, so she reached her hand over the edge of the bed and let her dog lick her hand so that she knew that she was oh. safe with him protecting her. That is so Wisconsin. So the dog's still there. <laughs> She was woken again by the same noise a little while later and it annoyed her, but she was comforted by the dog licking her hand and slept once again. An hour later, she was woken by the sound of her parents coming home. So she decided to get up, tighten the tap, feeling much safer with them at home. You said you started this story saying it's a story we're all going to know. I've literally never heard of this. Wait until I say the end. I've got off. That yeah. could be where you suddenly know it. Imagine if it turns out to be the Grinch or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Is that an impression of the Grinch? <laughs> <laughs> Their house was in a swamp. Oh, Shrek. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why was that your impression of the Grinch? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to steal Christmas? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is your heart two sizes too small? Yeah. yeah. Are you sad about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've so, got a sneaking suspicion. You're the camp one. He does know Mr. It. Grinch. Now, it, yeah. Her parents get home, so she decides to go to the bathroom to stop the tap because now she feels safe there. And, and the water bill's fucking massive. <laughs> Cheers to that, Becky. Could have turned it off when you heard it. She walked into the bathroom and instantly screamed. Yeah. She saw her dog skinned and hung up on the curtain pole. The dripping noise was the sound of her dog's blood. She ran back into her parents who had found a note written on, in blood saying humans can lick too. I knew it. Right, what so was licking the, her hand? The, the person who was in the house licked her hand. Was licking her hand to make her th- to make her think that it was the dog. Whoa. But he'd already skinned and killed the dog. What? So he's under. The Why bed. on earth would we have heard that? It's a what Jordan had. It's a really well known. It's called. No, no, humans. no. I hadn't heard it, but I was like, well, as soon as you said, put her hand down to be licked and comforted by the dog. I was like, I guarantee that's not the. Dog. Yeah, I thought that. My brain went to that's not going to be the. But dog what's, what's her it. name? Because you said if you know her name. Oh, if you knew the name of the ep- of the story, it's called Humans Can Lick Too. Oh, if I said that I straight away, you would be like, oh. I don't know, Dead Jessica or something. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah oh, classic Dead Jessica. Becky, her name was Becky. Because <laughs> yeah, oh, right, she was right. a prick because she left the tap running. <laughs> <laughs> and we know Becky's can be pricks. Well, you anyone listen to Becky us? or nah? He really <laughs> just hates Becky's. <laughs> yeah, it's just oh my god, Becky, look at that. But 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 have you heard? Oh, I don't know. Oh uh, um, oh my god, look at her back. Is that Nicki Minaj? Yeah, oh. it's not Becky though, is it? It's not Nicki Minaj either. The originals from something else. Oh right, fair enough. No worries. Oh, anyway, right. so yeah, believability of that zero. So you don't believe that... The, I, I believe so humans human... can lick too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so <laughs> What bit don't you believe? That it happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what, that's, yeah. I don't know. It would take... It's probably hard to skin a dog. Don't know. Without it making a noise. Yeah, that dog's going to be yelping. Might have killed shit. it straight away. Just in out. Night in the head. In out. Oh, <laughs> Skinned. Um, yeah, there you go. That's it. No problem. Maybe the girl was called Brooke. Hey! Oh, hey! Your career's over. <laughs> Mine. Brooke. Out of her. Um, <laughs> no, I think. Um, all right, believability one then. Scariness? Four. I'll give that a six. That's creepy, that is. What, believability or. No, no, scariness. scariness. Believability. Uh, there's a few things. A, I don't think you could kill the dog quietly. B, how, how are you getting under that bed? Do you know what I mean? C, also, in, a, in like. A dog's tongue's rough, isn't it? Yeah, you would have had to. Do well, something like, oh, around it. Hell. Have a fruit pastel before you lick. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Lozzie? I'm going to give that believability one. Okay. Uh, scariness? Scariness, three. So this one actually does have an origin story. Oh, it's so there a cat. is there is a reason that this story um, came about. Obviously, when I say origin story, something happened that triggered this story to then come out, and obviously, it's been definitely changed over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was but, this the original um, synopsis of Marley and Me? Before they <laughs> <read that? laughs> yeah, he doesn't die of like being ill and old. He got skinned. Don't s- spoilers. spoilers. I'm Fuck sorry, but if no one's seen Marley and Me ten years after it came I out, I actually haven't. I haven't seen it. Either. Wow. <laughs> I knew he I've died. Seen it though. So oh, good. Wow. As long as Lozzie's seen it, as Owen Wilson would say, "Wow, wow, wow, wow." wow. wow. 
Wow. wow. <laughs> Next wow. half an hour is just this. Wow. wow. <laughs> Literally, it will be. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, some, some one of our listeners has, like, gone, now, nah, mum, dad, listen to it. It's really good. Like, <laughs> And then finally convinced them. Bit. Yeah, skip, like, 12 minutes in. Wow. 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 <laughs> Um, okay, so um, this was actually one of the stories that was really big in the um, in the old 60s. Right. And it was told around campfires to, was it? to scare campers. But there is an origin for it. And it was... Why would that scare campers? There's no taps about there, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally as far away from that situation as possible. Shower, Glampers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. Uh, yeah, got they it. probably got deserve it. it. Pink moon. Um, yeah, pink moon. But yeah, the origin Put actually could... Put killer was, through there. Back in 1871, uh, when there was a story that they heard that happened in England, and there was a jewel thief who was ev- who evaded being caught. <laughs> Jack just uh, <laughs> held up the jewel. 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 Yeah. Well, I was like, why is he doing that as a vape? Um, yeah, there was a jewel thief who evaded detection by licking the hand of a man who woke up to strange noises to make him think that it was actually his dog. Wow. And then he got away with it. That's pretty smart. Then I actually have a note here to say check the back seat, which is your story that you've already told on part one. What? <laughs> what? Look on the back of your seat. <laughs> oh, you're, you're <laughs> fucking <laughs> When you said that, <laughs> look. <laughs> it's it's off. Off. Honestly, there's a dog's yeah? skin yeah. on the back of your seat. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know why that fucked me why up. Why so much? Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> yeah, I don't you said that. something about my back, look at the back of my seat. I was like, what the fuck? I just left this? a note here to say tell the check your back seat story oh. if you wanted to, which is. Fuck the story he me. told. Oh, what the lorry? That just shat yeah, me up. Yeah, about the lorry chasing him. <laughs> uh, his <laughs> eyes wide. Yeah, yeah. They did. Like, what? What? I mean, <laughs> if you if you listen to this on on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, that's a reason to get over to the yeah. YouTube channel. Hey. And to give you an idea of how the studio works, I am in the safest position yeah. in the sense that I'm nothing fucked. can happen behind me oh, because these are walls. Words. Yeah, Jordan I'm is fucked. the one with his back to the door so yeah. if anything was to come in yeah. That's me. it'd be straight on him so, do you remember when we were doing the, the ghost the first ever ghost episode and I looked out of the corner of the oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you shat yeah. yourself <laughs> oh I fucking was petrified because somebody had moved a computer chair to the corner of the room and it yeah. was dark out there because I think we were filming was it in like January we were, were, we, were we not pulling the curtain or did you look behind there I looked through the curtain oh you were sat down the corner yeah. weren't you yeah, yeah, and I looked yeah, through yeah. the curtain expecting to see an empty studio space but I just saw a computer chair in the middle of the floor and I thought it was, we were then talking about a little boy dead so <laughs> <laughs> should we go on to another story yeah, yeah none of you believed it boy. So we'll I'm go not going to believe any of these am I because they're urban legends. True. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one who asked to rate it in believability. Yeah, I know. Just so I can mug you off. Go on. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so, can't, right. again, can't say the name of this. You probably will know this one. Right. It's very, very well known. Um, it was actually even in a film. That's how well known uh, this one right. is. Okay, so, two college roommates were complete opposites. Oh, 22 Jump Street. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> urban legend. Oh. Yeah. yeah, go on. Two college roommates <laughs> were complete opposites and didn't get on too well. One night, Sarah was getting ready to go to a party, and Emily was staying in to study. Sarah did try to... Fucking con- nerd. Yeah, I bet Sarah- she has anal, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Carrie. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just lightening the mood. You might find oh. out later in the story. <laughs> Shit. On, the oh. anal killer. I'm Shit. unzipping <laughs> these flies. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a knock on the table, lads. <laughs> if you hear three knocks... <laughs> I'm, I'm <tired>. tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny I was about to go reference to episode one then you went off calm and I'm like no that didn't happen in episode one <laughs> oh it did so <laughs> Sarah did try to convince Ooh, Sarah did try to convince Emily to go out and have some fun for a change but she refused but she did agree to leave the door unlocked so that Mary could get back in and didn't have to take her keys out that was her version of fun (laughs) I'm not coming out but I will leave that door unlocked (laughs) Mary met up with a group of friends at the party but decided to stay at theirs after so she decided to quickly go back to their room to get her keys so that she could get in the next day it was around about 2 a.m., so she was trying to be quiet not to wake Emily. Yeah. When she got in, she heard grunting and moans coming from Emily's bed, and assuming that she refused to go to the party because she actually invited a guy over, she grabbed her keys and ran out. The next morning, Mary returned to her room, excited to hear some gossip. She opened the door and saw Emily murdered on her bed, and written on the wall in blood was, Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? 
เออว่าเอาแค่ I'm not taking it. Taking in any of this. What? That was really good. What? Because someone wrote it was sat on the wall. No, no she went she back went... to get her keys. Thought that Emily was having sex with someone. Was like, oh fuck, I'll get out of here. Went back the next morning expecting to hear gossip like, oh, you know, rimmed him and that. And then, <laughs> and then obvious and gossip. And then, yeah. and then, and then actually, there was blood on the walls. Aren't you glad you didn't open the fucking light in that? No, fuck that completely. <laughs> <laughs> Are you glad you didn't open the light? Fuck. Are you getting it? She thought she was having sex. She was being murdered. So if she turned the light on, he probably would have murdered her as well. So she left. So he just left her a note. That note specifically left yeah. for. Yeah. God. So ba what? basically, she thought that her mate was getting railed. Yeah. Yeah. And she thought, but, but she was actually being killed. Yeah. Right? And then if she turned the light on, she probably would have been murdered oh, herself. That's too. a good one. I like yeah. that. So the murder. That's believable. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I'll give that. Oh come on. I'll give that an eight. Come on. Eight. What believability? That could, okay, fuck it. I'll give that a ten. That could definitely happen. Yeah. There's no ten, reason it could Ten mean happen. ten means you believe that story. Oh, or nine then. <laughs> like, That's it. Fine think, lines, fine lines. No, I don't know if it has happened, but that could happen. Yeah. So the murderer Cena cut open the door. Yeah, because it was a yeah. pitch black room, and then He's... obviously light came in when the door was opened. Right. He's still yeah, but surely town, light though. doesn't just like for and one person. They don't just see light. It's it's gonna be no. But one of you is gonna see way more light than the other. If a door opens like this and her bed's behind the door, she's yeah. not gonna be able to see the darkness of well, the room. Well, if you're the woman that's and getting also, murdered, like when the doors like, wouldn't you go help me, help me? That's no, why she had you're... muscle muffled groans. So he was obviously blocking her mouth. So yeah, that she couldn't. And he, he's probably thinking like, if this light goes on, she's fucking dead. But if it doesn't, then she's back. She's gone. Yeah, yeah, because he's still attacking this other one. Yeah, yeah. so he'd, he'd be two on one. <sighs> he wrote well in the dark. We well, no, probably, probably turned turn the light, the light on, on by that point. <laughs> She's <All right>. gone. <laughs> All right. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Why did he ask me to find these stories? Uh, like, no. Right. No, I mean I like hearing them. <laughs> Do but you? I'm, but I'm not asked. I'm gonna tell you face. <laughs> 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 like Spider Man. Like I watch it. You hate Spider Man. Oh, that's the only one I like. <laughs> only one. <laughs> Out of all them superheroes. All like, them superheroes. I'll watch it and I'll go, yeah. <laughs> it's alright fucking yeah. hell you're exactly who Marvel are trying to catch yeah 150 million dollar budgets yeah that's alright yeah. yeah I like how he says that's the only one I liked and he's still just yeah yeah <laughs> alright right believability four okay scariness uh, four I like the twist I know I keep fucking it now believability I believe that it's a, wait is this, I believe it happened, or I believe no, it can? Like, it could happen, I guess. Then I'll be, that's 10. That could definitely yeah, happen. Yeah, but you could have that basically for most of them. But what, yeah, I, yeah, what I find a bit take. strange about urban legends is that once someone's heard the story, someone a bit mental, they might actually do it and then like yeah. write on the wall saying that. Right, so should we stop doing these episodes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're actually We're contributing to the actual whole thing. I've now yeah. also let someone know the layout of our studio. Yeah. So Jordan's first. Yeah. But yeah, violent movies, violent video games, and the Happy Hour podcast. Yeah. Influence and shooters mm -hmm. in, in serial killers. The three things Trump wants to ban. That's, that's it. <laughs> it's that's all on it. us. No, that was all right, actually. You, you, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it'll do. Yeah. No, that was sure. a good one, Steve. That was good. <laughs> um, you got another one for us? I yeah. hope so, because I mean, the episode's 20 minutes long. So yes. Hopefully, you got oh, three. Two episodes in that. Yeah. Two stories. Oh, we got two, are we? What was the first one? What? The dog licking hand. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Humans can. Dogs can lick. <laughs> Yeah, got no, it. humans can leave You did it right too. the first time and corrected yourself for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what actually happened is that the dog skinned and hung a man <laughs> and then he wrote on the wall, dogs can lick too. Uh, for me, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 10. Right. Oh, okay. Come um, on, guys. Go on. Next this, one. Yeah, this one's a little bit strange. Oh. Um, As opposed to... The other one's the, just yeah, like... Yeah. No, literally general life. Yeah. No, because <laughs> the other ones are kind of just murderers. This one's kind of creepy. Ooh, right. Um, ready, like in a, in a... Oh, imagine that actually happening. Well, I'm ready. Okay. A newlywed couple had just had their first baby. Oh. Annie, Unlucky. the baby's mother, <laughs> was afraid to leave the baby alone with anyone. So once uh, the once social couple found themselves spending their nights at home. 
Finally, once the baby was about five months old, Annie's husband, Jack, decided to hire a babysitter to watch the child when they went to a friend's birthday party. Right. This is their first night out in five months. Good on them. Enjoy. I hope, I hope this ends well. <laughs> 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 they had a plate full of perfect rolls and went home. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, Jeffrey what? Dahmer turned up to look after the baby. <laughs> but he went in his murderous rampage then. He was actually quite polite. He gave him a lift home and that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Have that for a twist. <laughs> yeah. Once the parents had left, the babysitter invited her boyfriend over. Mm. He bought some booze and together oh, they drank some alcohol and they tried LSD. Oh, fuck. That has got like if there's any occupation you got like don't don't be a babysitter and take hallucinogenics. <laughs> yeah, it was it? something fucking sh- start <laughs> mistaking the baby for a ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. It was something she'd never done before the LSD. Right. But so obviously she really, she really liked the guy, so she wanted to impress him. So she did did the drugs with him. <laughs> Annie went to check. Uh, Annie called her home to speak to the babysitter to check in on the kid. But the babysitter told her that the pri- that there's loads of pretty colours in the house and the turkey is really good in the oven. Oh. Annie got very upset and went to find her husband so they could rush home and see what was going on. When they got to their house, Jack ran upstairs to get the baby and Annie stayed with the babysitter to try and make sense of what she'd there's said earlier on the, the phone. <laughs> we fucked it! Right? We fucked it! <laughs> I told you there's too many tabs. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Jack came running down the stairs in panic and asked over and over again, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Suddenly, both Jack and Annie smelled something burning. They ran into the kitchen, looked in the oven and found their beautifully burnt baby. <laughs> Don't say beautifully. beautifully burnt. <laughs> I've, not, I've read this. I didn't realise. This is why I rewrote the others. Yeah. Because it ended with beautifully burnt baby. <laughs> <laughs> is this where the blue baby thing comes from? Oh, no, that's, that'd that's be beautifully fucking... burnt blue baby. Oh, sure. That is, that's horrific. Yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? It is. Imagine but... being the parents. Yeah, it'd be shit. Imagine being yeah. a kid. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, But my point in that story oh, is that halfway through, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <What? laughs> halfway through, <laughs> over he's went, where's the boyfriend gone? Oh, where's the turkey gone? It's in the oven, mate. Where's the baby? That no, was... no, no, because she's cause she's got mixed up. <laughs> So we know where the baby is. Where's the turkey? <laughs> just in the cot with a fucking little hat on. There was you were never cooking a turkey. Just a mobile go. But just my dummy p- up the turkey dog. Oh, like... <laughs> <laughs> well, this baby's better looking than it was earlier. Well, the point, the point of that story, though, is that fucking turkey for they've done LSD and they think the baby's a turkey, so they've cooked it. Yeah, we've all been there. But that's what I was going to say. Halfway through, Jack did go, oh, they've done drugs. They're going to think the, tur- uh, the baby's a ping, ping pong, pong ball. ball. That's yeah. why I was like, oh, he's kind of... I went right, though. It was <laughs> <laughs> still considerably far away from what actually happened. They cooked it. That's well, horrible. Well, yeah, they didn't What's smash the, it across the Do you the have table. an origin to that? Nah. Just, there's a, there's a fair few... And that's why we have turkeys on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The that's taste it. of kid just isn't coming. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, that's upgrade. That's horrible. Okay. That yeah, is horrible. That is Quick horrible. question, though. Do you try it? <laughs> <laughs> Not actually yeah. cooking the kid, but if it uh, yeah, the kid the was cooked, I'd have a leg. Make the most. <laughs> I'm a breast man. Oh, Eve. Oh. 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 <laughs> you got to make it non <laughs> No! I didn't think you can make eating babies worse than it is. <laughs> you have. Um, oh, that's glad. Believability, one. Um, no, I'll give you a bit more. Five. Oh, <laughs> Because yeah, oh, yeah. LSD was involved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, scareability, five. Okay. Jordan? Yeah. Um, believability, I mean. Yeah, I'll give it a four. Scare. The, not scare. I wouldn't give it a f- scare. I'd give it a harrowing factor of a nine. That's mm. horrible. That is fucking horrible. It's even sadder that the mother didn't leave the child at all in the first time mm. in the oven. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I found the fu- oh, I left the baby first time in the oven. Yeah. I told you this would happen. I said, as soon as we leave this little baby, it's going to be cooked alive in the oven. And look what's fucking happened. What was the Ima- note I read? Imagine down. the husband for the first five months has been going, it won't end up in the oven. She's, go- <laughs> she- she- she's come back. The baby's in the I oven. Fucking oh, told five. you, Jack. <laughs> Told you. Before they left the babysitters, they went, whatever you do, <laughs> do not put that in the it's, oven. It's not a turkey. 
<laughs> they implanted the idea. <laughs> yeah. The LSD, yeah, the LSD just rode with it. Oh my god! Oh fuck! Maybe fuck. it is a turkey. Shit. That looks like a turkey, actually. Though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what oh nice dude. See, the note to the babysitters. There was just one, like two words: get safe. <laughs> oh, oh, it. Oh, all in. That's it. Oh, brilliant. Lozzy, do you have any believability or scary? <sighs> I'll get, probably get a three for believability. Yep. How scary it is probably uh, probably quite off putting to have your kid in an oven. So five. five. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> off button five <laughs> yeah. right good that was good yeah no I like I, the twist I like that they're heating up have you got Have you got any more like so what kids? I've got <laughs> did you mean did you that? mean to say that I genuinely didn't mean that I genuinely didn't yeah mean he's that. not that oh, smart they're getting a bit tender <laughs> oh I see oh. Uh, what we'll do I've got actually I've got another couple of um, babysitter ones so they, they were <laughs> they are gonna be great yeah. no, <laughs> so you, you said the heat. Stevie's gonna... found his knee <laughs> yeah and what a knee shit is <laughs> <laughs> babysitting murderers Can I just congratulate you on such a fun niche babysitting murderers sounds like I've got like Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer in a room uh, <laughs> just looking after him yeah. brand that put that on a t-shirt right um, here we go um, before so, we get to that I think we oh, should have a little ad break please I yeah. need to cool down after that yeah come on <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> fuck's sake. Seriously, jeez. Uh, right, um, I'll see you in a bit. Just uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> fucking had enough. I'm yeah. going. Right, we're going for a little ad break. Get a bit of air, and we'll be back after this. <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome back to Jack Makes Happy Hour podcast. During the break, it has just started to rain, so that makes the stories just a little bit more spookier, Stevie. That's it. <laughs> shall, we, shall we do the rest of it like this? It's like an ASMR podcast. People complain about our volume enough as it is. We probably shouldn't do this. Oh, I'm, basi- I'm, I'm basically pressing my fucking mouth into the mic so if they can't hear this, maybe they need to get better Maybe. fucking speakers, the cunts. Yeah, but if, actually, <laughs> <laughs> if you actually look at the volume bars, they're not actually going up that high. Okay, I'll speak like this then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let's just speak normally. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Urban right. Legends. Hit scary us, stories. Hit us with one. Yeah. So ba- the Grinch is back. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, Shane so, Dawson. Yes. <laughs> Babysitter Urban Legends became quite a big thing because obviously it's a young woman alone, normally a young girl alone looking after kids in a house. Mm, yeah. So there's actually quite a few, but this one is a little bit scarier than others. Again oh. with Oof. a twist. Oh, I like the twist. Oh. Twists and turns and turns and I twists. will quickly say how I laughed at the end of that baby one because it's this be- beautifully burnt baby. I am at the point where I'm reading these off the internet, like from a from research I've done. Um, yeah. So there might be some weird wording in there. I'll try and scan it and change it as I go. But if I laugh at points, it's still yeah. a scary story. Cheers, mate. Okay, so here we go. I've got loads, that's fine. Here we go. Okay. It's a Friday night and Ashley, a 16-year-old girl, was babysitting two little boys. Mm. The boy's parents weren't supposed to come home until very late, so she put them to bed and sat downstairs in the living room watching some TV. She was flipping the channels and came to the evening news. The anchor woman reported a warning for her area. She said that a mental patient had escaped a nearby facility and was on the run from the local authorities. <sighs> Ashley flipped the channel again to find an old movie she hadn't seen for a while. By the end of the film, she'd forgotten about the news report completely. Upstairs, one of the boys woke up. He thought he heard a noise coming from the hallway. It was a thump, a thump, and then a dragging sound. Thump, thump, drag. The child thought that Ashley was, uh, must have been watching TV and the sound was probably from the programme she was watching. But he heard the sound again and woke up his brother. Together they listened at the door to the bedroom and the sound kept coming. Thump, thump, drag. It was getting louder as it got closer to their room. The sound suddenly stopped, but the boys still felt way too scared to leave the bedroom, so they got back into bed and hid under the covers until their parents got home. When the parents came in the house, they were struck by a gruesome sight. Ashley was laying halfway up the stairs with a trail of blood behind her. Her arms were cut off at the elbows, and she'd been climbing the stairs with her bloody stumps, pulling her badly injured body along to protect the children before she died of blood loss. Ah, cut her arms Oh, was that the thump, thump? The thump was her because she had she was thumping on the thump, stairs trying thump. to climb up. So she'd thump one arm, thump the next, and then pull her body up. Pull on that was a drag. 
I thought yeah, you was... just listen to Queen. <laughs> 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 I like how Jordan Where goes, they are a bum. Uh, sorry. I was <laughs> invested. Yeah, and then mm. you ruin it every time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you haven't always got to be funny, Jack. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. A woman died. <laughs> Did you believe it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah. Go on, Jordan. Nah, some say the attack was harmless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucked a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I can't believe you just made an armless joke. Oh, <laughs> uh, sue me! Don't what, do that. What are we supposed to say about that? Believability. That a woman got murdered. Yeah, but it's specifically about this kid's story, really, isn't it? Because this is from yeah. a kid's point of view. How old was the kid? There were two kids. Young, why, ten. Why, why did the dude just come in and cut her arms off and fuck off? Yeah, didn't even. It was from the him. mental asylum. Ah, oh, makes oh, sense. Right. Yeah. See, this is what I mean about stories that have crazy people in. <clears throat> they don't do anything for me because it's like anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> she had her arms chopped off and Believe she was left to bleed to death. Belie- oh, she died. Yes. Oh, yeah, she did. That's die. why the dragon, the thumping and the dragon stopped. stopped. Oh, she, right. She died of she blood loss. be fucked. Can I get it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> she didn't... Did, hold on. Did you, <laughs> did you think that he just walked in and cut her arms off and left? Yeah, I thought that's what Jordan mm. was alluding to. Yeah, no, yeah. we did. But, like, you're you're saying it as if, like, not thinking she'd even die. He went, oh, there we go. On to the next. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple of arms. <laughs> He's uh, just running around with them. <laughs> maybe it was the man with the hook from episode ah, one. I need a hand. Yeah. And a spare one. <laughs> he got, no, he cut off one and went, fuck, it's my right hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently the family were up in arms. Next one. <laughs> oh, I, hang on. Scariness. That's not much better than harmless. <laughs> yeah, but you and mine's better. a play but on words because mine's harmless. You said it's not much better, so you assume there's some level of it being better. <laughs> what did you say again? The family were up in arms. Up in arms. Yeah. yeah. The girl was up in arms. You can't change any. it now. She, she was any. up the stairs surrounded in her own arms. Right. Mine's, <laughs> mine's more She clever. bled to death on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's just an accurate account of what happened. <laughs> accurate. Believability 10. <laughs> what was her name? Please say Armanda. Please say <laughs> <laughs> Do you call it Armander? Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't work. Uh, what's her favourite Pokemon? Charmander. <laughs> <laughs> you just you haven't even you're not even emphasizing the arm anymore. What's her favourite Armander? <laughs> what's her favourite piece of war history? The Spanish Armada. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what's her favourite Bruce Willis film? Armageddon. <laughs> Apparently they took her limbs and sat on it. It was an armchair. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Where's Kim Kardashian from? She's from Armenia. <laughs> she lit, not, not even a joke. She is. From Armenia? Armenia. Literally. That was your third joke. Oh, dear. Third time's the arm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say words and put arm in it? <laughs> <laughs> third time's an arm. Third time's the arm. Yeah, like third time's charm. a charm. But it's just didn't bother with the chair. You didn't bother with the her in harmless. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> he's had it's enough. Like, <laughs> he's he's fucking up. He's left. Sorry. How is uh, this happening? No, in this it's, like, it's like it's it's playing on the accent, isn't it? Mm. Like armless. He's armless. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a fun anyway, episode. Yeah. Babysitter's dad was in the army. <laughs> <laughs> it's just your joke you're laughing at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Should we move on? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Let's, uh, let's do another babysitter one whilst we're there. How many babysitter this ones? This last one. I'm trying, I'm trying to fit like a brothers in arms joke. In <laughs> <laughs> just say what's her favourite film or brothers TV. Brothers in arms. There we go. There he right. goes. Lozzy's one bird. It's go. also a Dire Straits song. Are they? Okay. Carry on. <laughs> just so I'll tell you who's in Dire Straits. That bitch on the stairs. <laughs> Why is he calling her a bitch? She's a bitch now. <laughs> <You> shit babysitters. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, to be fair, when you actually think about it, it says that she was climbing up the stairs to go and protect the boys with no arms. If anything, he was leading the killer <laughs> to, yeah, the to, boy, to more arms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was clearly a collector. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go on. Oh, okay. As you're taking my arms, I'm sure you'll like some more. <laughs> It's like a pick and okay. mix. Um, Armadillo. This one's called the baby. <laughs> Just stated. Sorry. This one's called the babysitter and the clown statue. Oh, clowns. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably closing the title. Oh, I'm getting hard. <laughs> okay, for statues. There was a girl babysitting some family friends one night. <laughs> Hang on, what? <laughs> Sounds weird, doesn't it? There's a bit. Ba- it literally says that. So okay, there's yeah. a girl who's babysitting for some awesome, family yeah. friends one yeah. night. Nice. A little boy and a little girl. Yeah. yeah. Bit weird, but the parents had a bit of a fetish for clowns and had collected clowns from around the world for years. Statues, I assume, not right. actual <laughs> clowns. <laughs> Come on. Um, the parents yeah, had a fetish. <clears throat> they had a room in their house which was set aside purely to have all of these clown statues on display. Clown statues and clown models. Some were life-size, um, some were obviously a lot smaller. One in particular was seated on a small child-like rocking chair. Mm. The babysitter started to feel more and more uneasy about the statue throughout the night. She felt as though the eyes were following her. Whenever she moved around the room with the children, she decided to call the parents. I'm so sorry to bother you, she said, but I was wondering if I could move this clown that you have in the rocking chair. It started to scare the kids and I. What clown are you referring to? I don't recall us having one that fits that description. Are you sure it's sitting in the rocking chair? How did she describe it? Sitting in the rocking chair. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Just to double check. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm sure, said the girl. I'm sitting right here. I'm looking at it right now. Why? I know it's probably very old and I probably shouldn't move it, but. And the mum interjects. Take the kids and get out of the house right now. The, ba- uh, the neighbour across the street will let you in. Call me immediately when you get there. And with that, the mother hung up. Frightened and confused, the babysitter grabbed the kids and ran out. When she and the kids arrived safely at the neighbours, she called the mother and she answered. What's wrong? Did something happen? Are you all okay? Yes, we're fine, but we're not sure why you're so worried. Um, But I'm glad you called because we were afraid this would happen again. She then explained that the next door neighbour had been giving them quite a few problems. He was mentally ill and heard voices. On numerous occasions, he'd snuck into their house and tried to kidnap the children. This time, he'd dressed up in a clown suit and painted his face and waited quietly until he had the opportunity to do what he came to do. The parents had informed the police many times, but he never had proof until now. They thanked the girl, paid her, and drove home. (laughs) I like that. The end was a guy. It was a guy sitting in the in the rocking chair the whole time, waiting to steal the kids. Right. So the and he was the he was the 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 neighbour, wasn't he? The mental neighbour. Why is the mum told her to go to the neighbours? That seems like the worst place to go. Said neighbour across across the the road. Right. Oh, he's in our house, so you go to his, it's free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chip uh, chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't know what I think. Can I just ask <laughs> all of everyone here, say this situation is happening to you. Yeah. You've rang the mum and she's like, get the kids and get the fuck out of the house. You're leaving the kids. In there. <laughs> oh, I'm why would you leave I'm the kids? Just gone. default. <laughs> I'm gone. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I wouldn't take my phone. And that means more to me than some fun, someone's snotty kids. That's do you know it. what I mean? So, That's it. I, I mean, if if my let's phone be, was let's in, be real, how much are you getting paid to babysit? Fun Turner for a couple of hours. Yeah. Fuck that. How like, much are they going to weigh you down if you're yeah, running with exactly. them? Exactly. So. I mean, I'm. Fu- I, I tell you what, at the very fucking least, if I've gone and got them kids, and someone's, fu- I'm using one as like a fucking like a barrage, <laughs> like you know, launch at the launch of the guy. Take that one. You know. so, take that one <laughs> set it on fire like a turkey and throw it like a Molotov cocktail that's it that's it I think it's not scary okay because nothing happened it's just a man in a clown suit yeah they got away good on he him. was there to kidnap the kids well why didn't he take them he'd been there all day apparently he sat in the <laughs> rocking chair watching the kids that's just slack no because he was waiting for an opportunity to just take one of them but obviously the babysitter was constantly there so he was hoping oh. the babysitter would leave the room and what, he'd grab one and run what um why did she... Was he a midget? <laughs> it's funny that he asks. I, I know why you're asking, because it's a small chi- child's, yeah, child's rocking chair. chair. In a couple of the versions of that story I found, he was... He's a midget, yeah, I thought so. Oh, was he? Mm. So what... Um, Where are you going is with it, it? Are you allowed to say that, or is it dwarf? Or are you not allowed to say either? I don't know either? if you're allowed to say either. I don't know. Oh, Ver- small person. Vertically challenged. Vertically challenged. Vertically. <laughs> if he lays on the floor horizontally, he's all right. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he stands up. Why Life's did... Lifting. I don't know if I blanked out and missed a bit, but why... For fuck's probably, sake. But why did the girl call up and go, shit? Because they already she, had loads of clowns, so why did she one... she felt like that one's that one. eyes were following her around the room. 
like Scooby Doo. She was really scared yeah. of that one. They creeped her out a lot so more she, than the others. Did she she made up, didn't she? That she want that was scaring the kids. It was just scaring her, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she was like, blame the kids. The kids think of a fuck. That's it. Make the kids out to be a pussy. Kids were whack. No. <laughs> well, I don't. Kids love that clown. Uh, <laughs> bit too much. <laughs> I will say believability zero. <laughs> Scary ability. <laughs> Scary <laughs> Billy. Uh, six. Nice. Oh, okay. Jordan? Yeah, believable. Uh, right. Only because yeah. he was a midger. <laughs> believability one. And I'll tell you for why. Because if this has happened before and the police aren't buying it and you've got a fucking weird neighbour that has gone into your house and tried to steal your child, as a father at the very least, you're going to sort that problem out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, yeah. And you're certainly not going to fucking go out again without them yeah. or leave them in your house. So, so believability one. Scarability if that actually happened, fucking hell. Uh, seven. We'll go for a two. Oh, just a, to just to make a... you feel a bit better. Cheers. It's all right. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't make up the story. But... Oh, it's zero then. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how scary it is? But I'll probably that's pretty scary. Six. Okay, good. Yeah, nice. Okay, nice. let's get away from the babysitters. Yeah, oh, weird. And what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell a story. <laughs> I'm gonna tell a story that I know Jack likes. So this one's about flashing headlights. Yeah. So this is, um, I'm not going to, I know a fair little chunk on this. It's not really a story. It's just right. an actual urban legend. So this is, do this and this could happen. Um, but there is a little bit of an origin to it, whether it's true or not. Oh, so sorry. I don't know if any of you have heard. I know I've told you before, but if you were driving down the motorway at night, it's obviously very dark. What we're going to be doing later this evening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. carry on. So if you're driving down any road, really, when it's dark and you yeah. see another car coming from the other way, but its headlights aren't <clears> on, <throat> what's the first thing you do? You think them. I've heard of this. Before. Oh, you flash, you flash them. them. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know so this one. it's a well-known urban Give them legend. Give a wanker sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, say you say that, that's part of the origin. So what? the first thing you do is flash them to say you need to turn your headlights on yeah. normally it's a courtesy to be like have you even realised you haven't got your headlights on or you're a bellend yeah but there's an urban legend that goes that it used to be a gang initiation mm. that meant that the first thing you're meant to do is drive down a road without your headlights on the first car to flash you and tell you that you need to turn them on you turn around chase after them and you kill everyone in that car and that's how you get into the gang class right so um, who, t- who told you this Takeshi six nine. <laughs> oh, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of originality and creativity in that pop I culture references. That's it. So uh, with that story, it's actually you know how like we used to get chain mail and stuff. Yeah, that's how this one started going around. Have you ever been on Facebook and it'll be like, oh, make sure you lock your door when you do this, and it's like. Yeah. This started with fax machines. People started faxing it to each other, like saying, don't flash people at night. Really? Um, because they might be actually oh, be like God. being initiated into really? a gang. So it's all so, false. Um, so there are stories of it actually happening. It originated um, in like the 1980s where mm. the Hells Angels were apparently doing it. Right. Um, the bikers, right? Yeah. But then it had kind of morphed into like a completely different story. And then it had appeared again and like it kind of got told and told over time. But then there was an actual situation where in 1993, a real life incident happened where a guy had signaled, he didn't flash his car, he signaled to be like, turn your um, lights on. And the, someone from the other car thought he was signaling him, like calling him a wanker or putting his fingers up, rudely doing it. So that one of them shot from the other car and killed the passenger. Oh. So a woman actually died, but then obviously once the police got them, um, they said that it wasn't anything to do with initiation. He thought that he'd like called him a wanker, so he just shot across. I also reckon that the survivor of the car was the guy that gave the signal, right? Yeah. That sounds like he has just given the guy a wanker sign, and then when and the police come, no, he's gone, I just told him to turn his lights on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know he's not he's not the one I should be slagging off in this situation. <laughs> I should be slagging off the guy that just shot Shots. a woman in the head, but... Um, yeah, Such no. His life, you know. Yeah. Mm. One day you shoot women in the head, next you're putting babies in the in the oven. Yeah, I guess. Is All there out. any exceptions to that? Like, uh, if you're in the gang, say like, I don't know, a riot van, police riot van flashes you, you're like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Tank. laughs> you just see a tank with no lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Got the short straw there. Mm. But yeah, I know that's that's quite an interesting one because yeah. then that's one of those that when you are driving home and you. You're bound to at some point now yeah, see a car anymore. with its headlights on. Do you go, should, should probably flash that? Nah. 
I'm not going to risk it. It's that one percent thing again. I'm mm. not going to do it. What's the worst yeah. that's going to happen? What if, there's a, gonna what if there's a backwards rule where they only do it to rude cunts who don't tell them that they're like? Well, then on. it's really fucking hard because you can't win, Stevie. <laughs> 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 Give me a way out and I'll take it. But if you just say you're going to die whether you flash them or not, I don't even need to make the choice, do I, mate? <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> there you go. There one is. more. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> wondering if you're gonna listen, listen to it. Oh, but believability of that. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a gang ignition. What's that? Ign- ignition? Ignition. <laughs> Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Uh, six. Oh, oh R. Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not aged well. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. Certainly not. Yeah. Hot and fresh out uh, the kitchen. That's that, 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 that baby turkey again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. World's greatest watch track. Man. But the world's greatest what? No, the song. That's what the song's uh, called. <laughs> I'm not scared up in the sky. Sorry, I'm not a massive fan of R. Kelly. He's a bit of a dickhead. Mm. <laughs> yeah, shagged 14 yard, didn't he? I will quickly Allegedly. say. Allegedly. Yeah, t- t- <laughs> 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 I love. There's a documentary Please. on Netflix. John you... Legend has said it. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> I love how John Legend's now. Like, <laughs> if anyone else said it, no. Yeah. Yeah. John Legend has said it. Yeah. Quick, right, quick, from, go quick on. conversation on that. Do you think it's okay to continue listening to music? Like, you know how people go, I'm not going to listen to Chris Brown oh, anymore. Mate, he listen, beat listen. He's been listening to rooftops in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> not in the shower, but listen, Lost Prophets are fucking good music. Oh, he almost touched him. I did. I, I nearly touched Ian Watkins, yeah. Not his type. <laughs> You know, I've never told you this, mate. No, seven, he pulled his hand away a little bit. Oh, no, nah, well, you. you know when you're Did a he kid... go too old? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. But yeah, anyway, Waterfront. I was 17 years old. <laughs> Reached out. Didn't quite touch him. Thank fuck. <laughs> oh. In hindsight. Anyway, this is Stevie's hour. I got on, Stevie. Stevie's happy hour. Okay. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, yeah, let's do a... This one's kind of creepy. I like this one. Oh, go on. Okay, so strangely enough, the reason I have so many like urban legends in my mind is that back in middle school, I think, you know, when you said about the Bloody Mary, yeah. I really liked them and the right. film came out called Urban Legends. So I'd just sit there and read and then like tell it to other people because I yeah. like creeping people out. Yeah. Obviously at that age, it's you more that, like... You were that kid. You creep a lot like of people scared. out like in the waterfront and that when you go up to girls and shit. It's really... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't do that. <laughs> nah. Um, but yeah, so... I kept doing that, but then it got to a point where I was just scaring myself. Uh-huh. I'd tell these stories and then I'd go home and be like, wish I didn't. And now I'm starting <laughs> to feel that like now. Like I'm going to go, you guys all get to drive back together. Yeah, but you'll be on a train. Hang on, half the stories you've told a bit about people dying in a car. That's yeah. That's you're on a, a train. About trains. Yeah. You got one about a train? Oh, go on. I do have one about a train. Oh, go on. <laughs> it wasn't that, the story I was going to tell, but yourself. it was based on the uh, Vinnie Jones film Midnight Meat Train. Don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> yeah, great. Quality man. filmmaking. So, yeah, um, Bradley Cooper as well. This one's actually fairly well known. So, uh, one day, on their regular route home from school, a school bus full of children was crossing over a railroad track on their way to the next stop when something went wrong and the bus stalled straddling on the tracks. Oh, As the driver struggled to restart the bus, the train alarm signal started to sound and the children saw a speeding train coming quickly towards them. By the time the driver opened the doors to evacuate the children, the train had already arrived and the children's screams were drowned out by the screaming whistle and brakes of the deadly train. None of the children survived the accident. Mm. Go on. A few years later, a man was driving down the same road and stalled on the tracks in much the same way. Again, the driver struggled and the alarm started to sound. The lights began to blink and the guard bars lowered in front and behind the man's car. Just before impact, the driver could feel the train bearing down on him. He ceased to struggle and squeezed his eyes shut in anticipating his death. Suddenly, it was as if time stood still and everything became quiet. He felt his car move as if it was being pushed to safety, guided off the tracks by an unknown force. When he and his car were out of danger from the uncovered oncoming train suddenly sound and time came back to life and the train had gone past them just inches from the bumper of his vehicle to this day they say that if you put your car in neutral on those exact tracks and sprinkle some baby powder on the back of your bumper of the car um the children from the bus accident will push your car to safety and when you get out you'll see the small handprints in the powder of the ghosts of the children who died that day (sighs) it was it was all right until the baby powder bit You can ignore baby powder. That's, that's, I thought that was cool. You said it was school children, didn't you? Yeah. 
So why baby powder? No, it's just it's just a powder, isn't it? Like talcum like, powder. Yeah. Oh right, I thought, you know? I thought it was like <laughs> powder that attracts babies. Baby powder, powder isn't used to lure in like, babies. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think baby it's well powder is? Lure. <laughs> oh dear, I, mean, I don't know. Let me just. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, it's so that you can see tracks. You know, like how snow shows footprints. Right. Yeah. It's so that you can see the hands of the kids on the back. What? <laughs> what? It's, that's not what baby powder is. No, no it's, it's not. In, it's the, not in, your... in the context of this fucking story. Oh, right. Yeah, I know that. Why did you think it was to lure babies? <laughs> that's great. You just Any proved, babies around? You just proved that, and then you said, no, it's not. It's to actually see, like, tracks. So I thought... Yeah, but not of babies, just of the kids, so right. that you can see their hands That's, that's how I got a kid in the oven. <laughs> baby Come here, some baby powder. <laughs> oh, dear uh, me. But right. that story's actually uh, really well known in um, Texas. And apparently there's a train track there that people actually believe it is that exact train track. Really? I just want to ask a very quick question to Lozzie on based on that story. Because you used to work on the trains. You used to work in a signal box. Mm. If you did stall in that location, what's the protocol? It depends like what crossing it actually is. Because some of them have um, radar or LIDAR, whatever they call it. And it actually scans the crossing. So if there's something on it, the From train will stop. It will signal the train to stop. Yeah, there you go. Oh. We're safer, but guys. It, like probably, I don't know. This about is America. probably in the seventies anyway. In America, like I don't think they have the same yeah. technology. So long time ago, it but. could genuinely happen. Oh, ah, there we go. But the 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 baby powder bit is, is <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is That's just to say that you could be That's saved cool, by though. these kids now because they they all they all perished and now they're there to save you just in case it happens. Mental, crazy story, scary. Scary, nah, not really. It's quite a lighthearted story. Yeah, really. Well, that's quite nice. A train full of kids died. <laughs> the school bus. <laughs> they weren't on the train. Uh, they would have just driven past. Right. I was reading the Evian bottle again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no respect. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's good. I um, I will give it a three out for scary. Yeah. And yeah. An, and a. No, I was going to give it a high for believe and a zero believability. If you took out the ghost part at the end, like just the idea of a train killing loads of kids on a school oh, bus. Oh, yeah, it's a 10. Believable. 10 out of 10. Well, yeah. I wonder if it's ever happened. I'm Google sure, it. I'm sure yeah. it has. Can people please email in and let us know, has a school bus full of children ever been <laughs> killed by, by a train? Send in your mess- train? school I... children massacre story. Yeah, <laughs> any <laughs> photos would be great. If you haven't got access to any photos, any sketches of, of said <laughs> accent would be... No, because you'll get some fucking weirdos start drawing dead kids and send them to Yeah, you. we don't want that. I feel like even if we say no now... That's <laughs> too much. It's already We're in too deep. Late, We're in you know too someone's deep. got his A4s. <laughs> it's just like... B4s? Oh, A4s. right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This kid, you're all dismembered. Yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, cool. Not, That's not, it. Yeah, not a big fan of that one. Nah, but I like it. I I, I like urban it's legends. Good. I could sit here all day and and read Evian bottles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. He's a prick. No, it's good, mate. See you later, Lozzy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. This has been Jack Mate's Happy Hour, and we will see you in a few days' time. Watch out for that baby powder. <laughs> <laughs>